Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Dr. Kimberly Smith. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show as I talk to people across America on an FM and a social media platform. How are you today? I am good. How are you? I'm good. I want my audience to know Dr. Kimberly Smith is head of research and development at VIIV Healthcare. She's here to discuss uh, research and new data about HIV. Dr. Smith, yesterday I put out a social media post and I asked it, could anyone tell me about HIV? And people know a lot about HIV. They're either living with it, suffering with it, walking through it, or they have a family member, they say, but they do know a lot about HIV. Give me some of the latest research data on it. Well, um, Really, there's been major progress in HIV treatment, and that's, that's I think, the best news. You know, when we first had treatment for HIV in the uh, late 80s and early 90s, HIV treatment was super complicated with individuals needing to take many, many pills a day, uh, often 20 or more pills a day, and those medications had a lot of side effects, and so they were very difficult for people to take. Some people really had a tough time consistently taking them, and if you didn't take them uh, consistently, your virus could progress and you could progress on to AIDS and ultimately uh, still succumb to this uh, really terrible disease. Nowadays, the medications are much more straightforward. They're much less complex. They have fewer side effects. And uh, what I'm really excited to talk about is the fact that we at Vive Healthcare have developed some two drug regimens uh, that have reduced the, the number of medications that people need to take in order to keep their HIV under control from three or four medications a day to just two. And that's particularly important because, as I mentioned, if medications are complicated and have significant side effects, uh, it makes it tough for people to consistently take them. And we need people to consistently take them because if they do, they can live normal lifespans comparable to people who aren't living with HIV and individuals who have their virus suppressed with medications don't transmit HIV onto their sexual partners. So there's a lot of good that's happened in the last couple of decades. I, it is. You know, what I was most surprised about in my non-scientific survey yesterday was the number of people who would openly uh, say, uh, I live with HIV. You know, I contracted HIV through whatever means they say. I was very surprised about that. So. Have we kind of taken the stigma off of it? I think the stigma is still there, but improved. And, and, and one of the reasons why I think it's improved is that, you know, that point that I just made about the fact that if you take your medications, you live a normal lifespan, and if keeping your virus suppressed, you don't transmit to sexual partners. So I think that that has empowered people who are living with HIV and, and, and helped to reduce the stigma. And so it's really important that programs like yours uh, talk about this because not everybody knows that information. And I think the more people know that, again, people who are living with HIV can live normal lifespans and not be uh, transmitting HIV onto their partners is really important. That empowers folks. More to the medical side, it seems that, and, and I'm on the outside looking in, so you correct me anyway, anywhere, any point. It seems like uh, uh, to get people to survive, the drugs were very harsh on them. But now with this new drug, it's one less drug, is, is it better? Well, what we've shown is that with, the two drug, with our two drug regimens, they can get the same level of benefit, the same level of viral suppression and control of HIV as you can if you're using three or four drugs. And so that's really important because if you can reduce the number of medications that individuals take by a half or a third, uh, then hopefully you can reduce the number of side effects. And we know that that's so important to people being able to, to, to live their lives more normally as not experiencing those uh, HIV medicine associated side effects. Dr. Kimberly, what is your hope for uh, this drug as it goes forward? What is your optimistic outlook? 
Well, so this medication, which is called Devado, uh, is, is available for individuals who are just starting on medications or for individuals who are on regimens that include three or four drugs, they can switch to uh, Devado and, and reduce the number of, of medicines that they're taking. And so my hope for this drug is that all the people who um, really who need to, to simplify their treatment and would like to have access to uh, a combination that has two, fewer drugs, that they would have access to this medication and that, that it ultimately helps them uh, to, to reduce the number of side effects and to live uh, their best lives. The, the reality is that, you know, we think about people taking medications for decades. The goal is that we can try to simplify their treatment, try to make HIV treatment a lesser part of their lives, and so they can go on living their lives with, with less impact from HIV. Okay, and finally, uh, you've got this drug. Uh, can people participate in trials? Or And it seems like it's gone through that stage, but they're posting on... Uh, uh, on social media, is it they can they participate in trials or where do they go next? So, uh, Devado is uh, is an FDA approved drug, and so it's available to individuals now, and so they can talk to their doctors. Uh, and if they want more information, they can go to Devato.com. That's D-O-V-A-T-O.com for more information. And certainly, they can talk to their doctors because this is something their doctors can't prescribe to them today. And one of our commitments at Vive is that we, we really want to make our medications available to everyone, uh, regardless of their ability to pay. And so, you know, people shouldn't think of that as a, as a deterrent. They're, if, they, if they're interested in getting access to, their medi to this medication, they should talk to their doctor, and we can find ways to get folks access uh, to this medication. Dr. Kimberly Smith, you're a ray of sunshine. Thank you for appearing on the Belder BB Show. It's been my pleasure to share this information with you guys out there. You got the information, I suggest that you act. Dr. Smith, thank you. Thank you for having me and have a good day. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.